Hey everyone, Zool Gamer here for Zool Fandom. Welcome to my Dragon Age Origin walkthrough part 10. I am so excited to be playing under the banner of Legit Lady Gamers and supporting their community, so be sure to check out their content. I can't wait to get started and show you the mod Sir Gilmore NPC. This mod has 1900 lines of dialogue. Five to six individualized banter with each of your party members. Three relationship paths and really enriches the backstory of the human noble. So while we're making our way to Lothring, let's check out what's going on in Denerim. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you, or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh... Maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers! Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Enemy yeah! before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. But there aren't any. Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me. I'm not going down without a fight. I shall 
Shall be done. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Yes, I know. I was just... thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I agree. Have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at the Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Yay! We finally arrived in Lothering. Let's go meet Rory. I can't wait to show you guys how versatile he is. One thing in regards to installing this mod, this mod will only work on your first entering to Lothering. It is very specific in that regard. It has to be the first time. It doesn't have to be that player's first time, as long as it's the first save file for Lothering that you are playing. Milady, I never thought I would see you again. Why, yes. When I realized there was no way to save the castle, I checked everywhere to see if you and your family were able to escape. The Lord and Lady were slain. I thought they killed you, too. I searched for you, and never found you. And I am very glad to see you, too. When the castle fell, I was captured by Howe's men, and held until I was able to escape. I thought I'd go to Ostagar, where I knew Duncan would be headed. But when I arrived there, everything was in ruins. 
I heard the rumors. I know King Kalin fell in battle, as did Duncan. My hopes of becoming a warden are finished, but not my desire to help in this war. You? How? It does not matter. I suspected Duncan was not only interested in me. In any case, you are in danger now. The Grey Wardens were blamed for what happened at Ostagar. I did not know what to believe myself, but seeing you are one of them, I now know it is a lie. I am still bound to the oath I made to your father. I have nowhere else to go. Could you accept me as your companion? I am glad to be at your side again. By the way, please call me Roland, if you will. Of course. I will just remove my Mabari, therefore activating the extra dog slot mod. And as you can see, when I've recruited him, he is a level 11 warrior. He is already a champion, and he's already pre-spec'd for sword and shield. So he's basically, in my story, he's essentially, or this playthrough, he's going to take the place of Alistair. Once installed, you will always find him in the same place. He's in front of the Chantry, uh, just kind of hanging out. He comes pre-equipped with some pretty nice gear, so I'll get into that in my next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Zool Gamer for Zool Fandom. Be sure to check out my Facebook as well as subscribe to my YouTube for the next video, my walkthrough, part 11. We will be getting the juicy details of my human noble backstory.